out. <laughs> so today's video is going to be an indoors video because it's currently too cold to ride and it's frozen and it's snowing. Don't zoom in. I'm zooming hands. out, Ella. Yes. Um, so we thought we'd do a clean up of our tap room because this is looking very messy when we just dump our saddle pads here. There, That's what she does. And also we're going to have a talk through all of the tack and what brands our saddles are. Like personally, people DM me and ask what brand Jarvis' saddle is and what type of saddle it is and stuff. So yeah, we're going to do that. Um, like, little disclaimer guys. Oh, we're missing bridle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving that in. I'm leaving that in. Why are we missing bridles? Because when I took the snow photos and I put them back, they're in the barn. There's a go, go get them. Um, we just want to do a little disclaimer and say we're obviously not trying to brag or um, boast or whatever. Just doing this because a couple of you guys have requested it and we don't, we can't get any content riding at the moment because obviously the snow or all the snow. We literally we've had. can't do anything. And it's an inside video, so we're going to have. We're gonna be happy. Um, we're gonna be happy um, because I won't be freezing. I've got three coats on and I'm still cold. Um, and you guys will be happy because it's another YouTube video. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn the post notifications on so you never miss a video. Bye. Right, no, no, no. Sixty percent of you are not subscribed. Yeah, that's, that's just. Rude. I looked at the analytics. Um, that's just rude. So please, please, I, I'm gonna do like a little advert where it goes, please help now. I will be putting your eyebrows there really oily. I put oil in them. Bruh, they're really oily. To make them grow. Let it grow, let it grow, let it, grow. Let it shrivel up and grow. No, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> dying, yeah? Let it shrivel It's like the Laura. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, say, can I take them with me? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> guys, I'm taking you with me to come get the bridles so I'm not on my own. Look at all this snow. That we currently still have. Crazy! I don't think I've ever seen this much snow in my life. I don't think it's been worse up here than it ever has been down in London where we used to live. Because it's the countryside. Oh, that was very exposed. Yes, basically, Nibbles and Giles' bridles are in the barn because I never took it in um, from the other day when I took snow photos. Oh, that's quite heavy. I'll take my new fly veil as well. How gorgeous is my new fly veil? You can't really see it properly. But it's antiquity and it's lovely and I'm gonna use it for competing with Jarvis. Really? Oh, okay, it's too exposed to show you my dog. Oh my God, it's so cold. Gate back on so Bruno doesn't go escape to see his girlfriend. Oh! oh! Hi guys. <laughs> Speaking words. Ella, my phone's stuck. <laughs> Lady. <laughs> I'm putting that in. No, I'm not. I'm going to do time lapse. Ready? Run the time lapse in three, two, one. So we've just taken all of the saddle pads that were lying about or underneath the saddles and we have put them all where they are supposed to go. Oh, yeah, cool video, tuck them tie yeah. That's what it is, Ella. Yes, yeah, so we've put them all here. They are kind of in colour order. We try. Don't mind the <laughs> the red just chilling in the middle. The saddle pad's actually black, hence why it is in the black category. We tried, yeah, Ella said we tried and we did. So we've put our VIP, trusty VIP pads at the end here. The gold one, that guys, it doesn't, it's, not, it's kind of more champagne. No, it is called gold, oh, it's but it more looks champagne. more champagne. And then the blue there. So you do have a brown and a black as well and a white. So yeah. This is a poly pad. Those two are poly pads. Um, where is our other spillers one? We have two spillers ones, but don't know where it is. Probably, Probably on the lorry. lorry. Oh, this we got given by our friend who um, her sister has a company called Equine Nation. 
And then, where did you get this from? It's a Lemieux pulley is... pad, but it's really thin. Yeah, okay, but you've got a Lemieux pulley pad. This is Blaze's old, that is dirty. <laughs> this is Blaze's old little Lemieux Pro Sport Right, one. speed up the pace now. This is an Equiport one, it has our logo on it, um, that we've got on our back. Then, these are Dad's ones that are saddle cut, and yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll leave that there. Not me, good stuff. Uh, this, is, this is Dad's brown one, but we'll use it. This we actually got given with nibbles. This one is Mum's dressage saddle that we've had for probably about going on thirteen years. Um, this is Dad's lovely. That's my favourite. Is it called tangerine? I don't. I think so. No, it's burnt orange. Yeah, burnt orange fluffy pad, and it's got fluff underneath it. Yeah. This is also from Equipore and the embroidery shop messed up the logo <laughs> they put it really big um so i then had to go and get this one which they fixed um, they changed the design site didn't they they changed the design site no they just put the wrong they had two templates this one which no, goes on, look, the, that's on the back got, of that's our got coat a oh yeah and i changed that but this one we goes on the back of our coat so now it the numbers okay this is like an irrelevant one this is like a crusty one that we first got when we got later <laughs> <laughs> And then this is by DNC Horseware. I got gifted this one. This is really nice, but it's more. Sparkle I use it. And shine. <laughs> I use it, it for um, my dressage saddle. And then this is like another irrelevant crusty one that we got with Leah. <laughs> this is Dad's really nice run gold one. It's a bit. It's a saddle cut, so it's not the preferred shape for me. But it's got like loads of fluff because Dad's obsessed with having his horse in fluff. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I've already talked through that one. These are numbers from Danielle K Photography. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. The one that takes all of the gorgeous okay. photos of us. Um, this is from Kingdom Equine. If you can see the logo, can you see the logo? Logo, didn't logo, whatever. Yeah, that's a gorgeous one as well. This is from Escadron that we've had for a while. It's kind of crusty now. This is Molly's Equestrian Stockholm one. Stockholm, which, which is really which nice. I'm really but... annoyed. What has happened there? <laughs> Guys, what is that, what happened to these Christian Stockholm travel pads? Because I don't know what is going on here, but it's, not... it's like blue, it's rusty, it's like <laughs> And I haven't used that a lot, so I'm really disappointed. Okay, and this is Molly's personalised one. My show saddle pad. Yeah, this is another one by Danielle. This is my gorgeous KM Elite one. Absolutely love this. The fluff, oh my gosh, so soft. Just lovely. These are our two spillers competition pads by Thermotex. Um, this is an equilibrium one. We actually have three of these. Yeah, they're in the wash. They're, oh, they're over there. This is a forest edge one. That you want? That I want, yeah. This is Dad's dressage one. Again, look. Surprise, surprise. It's got <laughs> more, fluff. More fluff in there. <laughs> and then this is... Plain just dressage. Just a plain okay. one with a massive stain on. Uh, and Love then that. this is a... Let me all dress Odge one. So, we do have a couple more, but they're We not. have loads more, but we've got loads in the lorry and loads outside the washing machine. But we've actually run out of all of the pegs now. So oh, they're down there. They can't see it. Um, we've run out of all the pegs now, so we need to order some more. And also, I think we might run that. Side. Right, cue the next stage of the okay. to clean up. So now we're going to sort out all the saddles. Just yeah. make them look better. Because um, I'm... Why is my thing <laughs> so crusty? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to tell you who's just who's saddle and what uh, make it is. This is Leah's um, Kent and Masters GP saddle. Does anyone know what it looks like? Just looks like a it's bog a standard. Ragged. This are. is um, Leah's Kent and Masters jump saddle. All right, well, you go to the end that I'm not taking off. <laughs> it's a pony jump saddle. Yeah, it's really That's small. It it's really nice, though. And then we have nibbles. Oh. Oh, for God's sake, you turn off that thing. And then we have Nibbles, the CWD saddle. I don't know why it's in the <laughs> Um, Then we've got Jarvis's fluffy. This is Jarvis's Equiport saddle. Yeah, everyone's always asking me. Oh, it looks a bit weird because Jarvis like really tucks up. But yeah, everyone's always asking me. This that. is his. This is his John Whitaker saddle. Honestly, gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Elephant. Nice um, white piping. And then finally, and it, just, it just literally goes to prove to you that you do not need to spend like five grand on a saddle for it to actually like look nice and yeah. yeah. 
Blazers to Kenton Masters, you'll get the theme here. We like Kenton Masters saddles. They're just a good all round. Yeah. Though. Especially when you've got horrible. like when you've got loads of horses and you need a yeah. saddle. Yeah, on this saddle, this saddle on Mia's jump saddle will literally fit any of Molly's projects. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we're using currently in Goldie. Eh? Yeah. Then this is this is not actually Kenton Masters, guys. I just don't know why we thought that. Is it Jeffrey's? It's Jeffrey's, yeah. This is Mum's well Mum's dressage saddle, but me and Molly use it I'll on Take the back off and stuff. Looks a bit worn here. We just really need to clean them all. Yeah. They been we'll do a tack cleaning video where we need to clean Again. all them. And we can use your little um yeah. colouring balm. This right, is... This is... Ah! It's a girth body, relax. Right, this is Molly's Amerigo, is it? Yeah, Amerigo Mono Flap. It's an Amerigo Vega, because it's got the little Vega thing And then this is her John, John Whittaker, Whittaker little event, like, event girth. girth. She doesn't have shoes, so she doesn't really need a stud girth, but it's... Nicely shaped, and also that was a bargain. They're normally like eighty five quid. I got it for twenty five. Yeah, and it has been used twice. Then this is Dad's Monarch saddle. This is his new saddle that he got for uh, Jarvis. That he got for Logan because he's going to start jumping Logan more. It's absolutely gorgeous. Dad um, cleaned it the other day. Did he? Yeah, GFS Monarch saddle. It's lovely. And then we just have literally like tons of girls. And we have yeah loads of dressage girls and spare girls. To fit all of the Some draw reins there and free jump leathers. Oh, yeah. This is like a load of random tack, uh, breast random plates. breastplates and reins and a random bra band. Boot bags down there. Mum and Dad's bespoke boots. Wait, should I show you them? Because they're actually so gorgeous and honestly, they do not get out enough. So these are Dad's ones. He's, he's worn them like once, I swear. Yeah, I know. In like the two years. Because he doesn't them. want to break them in. Like, he's literally had them for two years. Yeah, so they're Dad's ones. Can and he then. These are mum's. Mum actually is wearing hers more. But yeah, these are mum's ones. They're really nice. Um, these are just like the bridles that we use. So Logan's bridle, Hackamore for Logan, well, for anybody. Goldie's this Mickleham. Is Goldie's, this is random. Just like a random, we use this like a luncheon bridle. Luna's well. Mickleham. Luna's Luna's jump bridle with a random flyer hanging out the top of it. I don't know why that's there. <laughs> This is Nibbles' bridle. Oh, um, uh, it's someone, actually a training bridle. A lot of people asked where this was from. I oh, had a DM. I have no idea. No, it says it on there. Is it? H HFI. Oh, my nails. HFI. Um, it's got the training clips on so you can switch the and bit easily. Clip and the yeah. clip on the throat lash. This is by um, Ponytails Official. This is the Pro Norton. Pro Shaped Norton? I don't yeah, know. Either right. way. Um, love this bridle, absolutely brown. love it. And then Jarvis has it in black. Um, ignore this brown one that's literally falling to pieces. Um, because Jarvis likes to rub his head on the hay. And um, this is his pro shape Norton. Obviously, you can't see the nose band because he's got the fluffy on it. What has happened there? That's it. Well, I've got um, off onto the floor. Yeah, we're gonna mop it after, so it's fine. And I'm he's gonna got mop his it. standing martingale here. Blazes, um, Mickland bridle. His veins are going like. Why is it? <laughs> Why is it like that? <laughs> Which will be not be used for a while because, as no. you all know, Blaze is off. Basically, he's just semi-retired now. Another hackamore. Uh, another crusty hackamore. <laughs> and then little Lulu's bridal. Leah. Leah, yeah. Right, we're going to get on to... Oh, wait, no. We've got to just put that lunge stuff in the lunging thing. Okay. Wow, you... <laughs> <laughs> I'll take over. Come on. Uh, are you not going to fold the lunge lines up? No. What are you call lazy? No, it's not lazy. Lazy. It's like I never do it, so lazy. there's no point. <laughs> They've never been folded up. Oh, yeah, they do. This is the lunge drawer. Yeah, that's the lunge drawer. Oh, there's nothing in this one. No, nothing. There's an empty one. No, there's chaps in there. There's loads Basically, of equilibrium boots in there. Literally filled with them. Yeah. Look, um, how is it still snowing? Go away! Literally go away, look at that. It's nice that they come back and never come away. Go away, come back, never again. That doesn't make sense. Look how dirty this floor is. Molly's gonna mop it. I'm not gonna oh, mop it. Look. Molly is. Doing slow motion. Yeah, you can slow it down. Add all the music. Guys, can you see this? The rack is actually bowing. Slightly. <laughs> so Only slightly. Bowing. <laughs> really? You're so extra. Right, now see the floor. <laughs> this girl. 
girl sweeps one floor and thinks she's Cinderella. <laughs> oh God. Molly, look at this smearing <laughs> she's doing. Am I making it worse? No, we're not. We're just getting all the dirt. making it worse. Look at it. We're just getting all the dirt and then we can mop. Sweeps it onto the mat. Who likes this mirror that we've never actually put up? Basically, you should look at your boots. <laughs> <laughs> it's me standing in the wellies. Right, look at it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's literally snowing and I hate it. Right, here's the before. Pretty grim. Get some cinematic shots. I will. This video I'm now. I'm slipping everywhere. Bruno, you're just defeating the object of being <laughs> on the floor. Look at this antique mop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> you do not know the mission I just went on <laughs> to find that bucket, this mop was in the farmhouse because it's like really old and antique. This bucket had tons of black that radiator stinks. water in it, which I had to scrub out with my bare hands oh, look at your in the freezing cold. And then I'm coming here just to mop the floor, and there's one there. There's one here. That's the one that look we how use pretty this mop is compared to this one. But you know what? We're gonna do how we we do it how they do in the old days. We're gonna use the rope one. So, Bruno, you're defeating the whole object of cleaning the floor. Wow. Get right. I'm actually like. Guys, moral of the story, look in the room you're mopping in for a mop before you go elsewhere. Oh, Bruno, Prince. <laughs> I'm literally like, look at my... Ew. That was the water from the floor. Disgusting. Yeah, it's not. It's Did not you good. find this on Facebook? Yeah, I saw it on someone's some group. So I'll just tell you what Mum was just doing. Um basically she saw this thing on Facebook, like you just heard her say, um, where you put a water butt, like you dig it and you put it in your horse's muck heap. And obviously the heat from the muck heap keeps the water really warm. So she just put cold water in. But on my story, it was on my Instagram story. Um, look, the water's in there. Um, by the morning, it's really warm. And obviously the horses really like it because you got to be careful when temperatures get really, really low that the horses are drinking their water. It often freezes over when it's really cold. So, yeah, I'm just going to do Luna's Nets for tonight by mixing some haylage and some steamed hay together. So, might video it, might Minus not. degrees. This is actually the best thing ever. Opening this. I've just opened it, so it's probably going to be less um, steam, but... Oh! <laughs> right, I'm pretty sure I just wiped off all the steam, but um, you can also put the hay in just like this. And oh my god, it's so warm. Imagine being a horse in the middle of winter, tucking into a nice steam net of hay. I'll be living my best life. Put the lid back on because I'll put that in nets later. But for those of you who want to know the brand of the steamer, it's called Simply Steam. So much more affordable than the hay game ones. And they do just as good of a job. Like, the hay game ones are £1,000. These are only about £200, I believe. Um, or just slightly over 230 But, yeah, brilliant. And it's I've, it's been going every single day since 
we got it for about probably three or four weeks probably, and steamed about three times so yeah brilliant <laughs> So we've just had another um, haylage delivery along with straw over there. <laughs> Ella's having troubles with lace. Um, our horses are obviously fed on a mixture of hay and haylage, but um, they absolutely love this haylage, don't they, Ella? Yeah. Like, we're literally, because they're not eating a lot of their hay, we've had to keep mixing the haylage in so they eat it. So it's basically very, 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 very tasty. And they um, basically eat all the haylage first and leave the hay out. <laughs> you can see in this net. Yeah. But um, if you are in Norfolk or Suffolk, then this is... Sorry, I've had to go upside down. This is the haylage... Huh? Put their Instagram in. Yeah, we'll put their Instagram in. This is the haylage company. T.H. Scott and Son. Um, I'll go show you what it looks like, to be fair. Honestly, it's like the nicest stuff ever. And you get so much for like the, the price of it as well. Like you, yeah, those, those nine, little... For nine horses, that lasts us about... Ages. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how many days. Um, yeah, it lasts ages. But like, it's so much better than those those tiny little bag ones, which cost like loads and of money. Really yeah. Yeah. So yeah, brilliant. We lo our horses love this. this. This isn't like this isn't sponsored or an ad or anything. We literally just our horses just love it. And Blaze, what are you doing? <laughs> so I'm just gonna end the video here. Blaze, say hello to the camera. <laughs> um. This is the current yard situation. We've just piles of snow. Looney. Jarvis having a fit. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and it was satisfying. Please like and subscribe. Um, Blaze says, please subscribe. Thank you, Blaze. Blaze. Okay, I got that tree. <gasps> you said you. Subscribe.